Uh, what food sovereignty means to me is being able to control how and where you're getting your food from. Uh, what food sovereignty means to me is also taking control of what we grow and what we eat. I think it's important to us because, you know, diabetes is so high on the reservation. We need to control, you know, what we put into our systems. I'm also a tribal member here at Rosebud and I hear sovereignty a lot that you know we have sovereignty here as a tribe and to me that means when we step back that we do not accept any assistance from anyone else that we as a people can survive on our own. So food sovereignty just means that you're taking control and this garden is just one example. And being able to take it into the community and have our community feeds. we use mostly produce from here. We get buffalo from game fishing parks, so almost everything we use comes from the community, so people know that they're getting a good meal. That's a part of what food sovereignty, I think, looks like here. It's the gardening and the tomatoes and the modern kind of foods grown in a good, healthy way, but it's also going back to some of these teachings and the foods themselves that have been here and have been in this community for centuries um, and are, and are deeply kind of embedded in people's um, experience of the world and their, you know, just DNA in terms of what they need to be healthy. So we're just trying to, you know, uh, do a little bit of everything and <laughs> do it as well as we can. In our food sovereignty, you know, taking care of the resources that we have, our soil, water, air, plants, animals, and even adding the human component in there. If we take care of the land, it'll take care of us. We don't use any chemicals or anything in here. It's just, you know, water and nourishment from each of our workers. I think food has that power to bring people together, but also to, to, to be really transformative um, because it's a part of everything. Everywhere you go, you're gonna have some sort of meal. If you go into someone's home, that's a value to be able to feed them and offer them something, even if it's just a cup of water. Um, so the more that we're able to produce and, and increase access to those good foods, that's like an immediate chain effect um, and, and can have huge impact in terms of the overall health, but also I think the sort of spiritual mental health of, of, of the community. Where we come from is so important, understanding that and then learning how to move forward with that knowledge so that we can keep those traditions and cultures alive. I think it has a real tangible impact uh, on people. Um, that's, that's why all of us come out here and garden in the morning. You know, it's not just one or two of us, uh, you know, as a job, everybody comes out here. It's a community process to grow the food and to bond and to take care of the land. And so.